New teachers in Texas will not be required to take a new certification exam that would have been more expensive and more rigorous. The State Board of Education voted down a proposal to adopt a teacher certification test that is meant to evaluate how a teacher will perform in their first year. It is a test the Texas Education Agency has pushed for for years. KXAN's Maggie Glenn explains why the board says now is not the right time for it. As I've stated before, PPR is uh, trash. TEA Commissioner Mike Morath says the PPR, the existing teacher certification test, needs to be replaced. He says the ed TPA would better gauge how a teacher will do in the classroom. In part, it requires them to submit videos of themselves teaching. It's one thing to grade a multiple choice test, like a computer can do that. It's another thing to grade like lesson plans, a video sample of, of classroom and then a reflection of exams. Morath argues if teachers are better prepared the first day in the classroom, it would mean fewer teachers leaving the industry after their first year. But critics say it's expensive, $165 more than the existing test. They say that price tag could make new teachers think twice about applying, and that could add to the existing teacher shortage. If there's a fire and people are going toward the fire with buckets, you don't stop and say, wait, are you a certified uh, fireman. Lampasas ISD is having difficulty hiring qualified candidates. We're probably having um, three times as many uncertified people that we're going to have to put into classrooms. We have to send letters out to parents uh, that we do have uncertified. But Commissioner Morath says the ed TPA's pilot program hasn't meant fewer teachers getting certified. While the board says it agrees the ed TPA is better than the PPR, it voted it down for now because they want to look at all options. Because I feel that there are some stones that have been left unturned. <coughs> I am not ready to make that choice. Maggie Glenn, KXAN News. Other options include another national test option or developing our own test right here in Texas. Marath says creating a new custom test, though, would take years. Star test results for third grade through eighth grade will be released this coming Friday, and it could show the progress students are making bouncing back from the pandemic. Last week's end of course exams for Texas high schoolers showed improvements in Algebra 1, Biology, and U.S. History. English and English 2 test scores stayed relatively flat. The TEA tracked test scores during the start of the pandemic, but they did not hold them against students or schools because of the challenges of virtual learning. TEA leaders reported schools are now having to make up for years of educational gains undone by pandemic disruptions. Looking in depth, the need for teachers is part of a large issue across the country. The National Center for Education Studies found close to half of public schools reported having full or part-time vacancies. More than half of those schools with vacancies said they increasingly need to use teachers outside of their job descriptions. The leading cause of vacancies at schools was resignation rather than retirement.